This is breaking news. America's Got Talent's Howie Mandel reveals he found wife lying in a pool of blood with her school exposed after shocking drunken injury. Howie Mandel has revealed that his wife Terry Soil suffered a devastating facial injury following a recent night of partying in Las Vegas. During an appearance on Live with Kelly and Mark on Monday, the 68-year-old comedian and America's Got Talent judge recounted the horrifying moment he found his wife, 68, lying in a pool of blood after being awoken by a loud noise in the middle of the night. Howie said the two had partied, adding that the drinking had proven too much for his tipsy wife of more than 40 years, although he admitted that he didn't realize she'd had too much to drink before he went to bed. In the middle of the night she got up, and I don't know where she was headed. But she headed into the wall, he explained, and she fell and hit the wainscoting. She hit that as she went down. She slipped, went down, hit that on her eye, then fell on the floor and broke her cheek, he said as host Kelly Reba grimaced at the description of the injury. I heard bang and ah, and I woke up and I went, where are you? Howie continued, and she went, I don't know. That's what she said. The audience then got a look at the extent of Terry's injuries from a close-up photo of the top half of her face though it was blessedly after her cuts had been cleaned up and the blood had been wiped off her face. She had a large diagonal gash in the center of her face that was surrounded by a violet bruise and had a fainter red cut trailing down to the top of her nose. Terry's had a swollen up left eye with discoloration covering her top eyelid and running down to the top of her cheek, with a blood-encrusted gash tracing the bottom of the bruise. She also appeared to have another smaller cut or bruise lower down on her cheek, just to the left of her upper lip. She appeared to have the top of her head wrapped up, and it wasn't clear if there was any damage beyond the part of her face shown. Howie went on to explain how he came to discover the shocking sight of his wife covered in her own blood. I turn on the light, I look, I look around the bed. She's in the corner, face down, and I didn't know she'd cut her head. But blood is pooling, he explained. Howie has been open in the past about his struggles with obsessive-compulsive disorder, OCD, and germophobia in the past, but those issues didn't stop him from rushing to help his bleeding wife. I freaked out. I picked her up. I put her on the bed. There's blood everywhere, he recalled. I went and grabbed all the towels, and all the towels are covered with blood. And she's going, get me ice, get me ice. I don't know where to get ice, he jokingly added. He went with the next best thing to bring down some of the swelling, a cold beverage can from the room's minibar. But Terry was in so much pain that she grabbed the can from him after he touched it directly on her forehead and hurled it across the hotel room. Howie then tried to wrap two cans in a towel, but she again tossed them aside due to her intense pain. When she did that, I saw her head, and you could actually see her skull. It opened up, he said as shock gasps emanated from the audience. I freaked. Rather than calling 911 directly for emergency help, Howie called the front desk asking the staff to call 911, but they insisted on checking out the situation upstairs before calling for medical help. He joked that they might have thought that he had caused his wife's injuries, as the room was covered in blood and cans were strewn all over the room, which staff documented with photos as he pleaded for them to call 911. After they made it to the hospital, Howie recounted a humorous moment when his wife began freaking out and calling for a doctor. She was still very drunk, so the doctor was able to help her calm down just by removing the sheet that covered half her face, which she apparently didn't realize was blocking her vision. Luckily, Terry has since made a full recovery. She is absolutely perfect, Howie reassured Kelly and Mark. There is not a scar, she is beautiful.